Now, fears continue to mount of a possible volcanic eruption in Iceland. A scary event has been brewing underground in Iceland. The ground, once steady, now shivers with the warnings of seismic tremors, causing concern among the residents. A 100-foot volcanic crack that opened up is breeding worry and anxiety among Europeans as a whole. This may just be the prequel to the biggest volcanic eruption to happen in the whole continent. The residents grapple with uncertainty while experts attempt to decipher the impending danger. What does this mean for Europeans and the rest of the world? Join us as we explore the details of the unfortunate train of events. Iceland has declared a state of emergency, warning of an imminent volcanic eruption. Iceland has a volcanic past that's not just long, but incredibly fascinating. Recently, the country has even found itself in a state of emergency because of this same volcanic activity. On November 13th, 2023, a series of earthquakes led to the evacuation of thousands from Grindavik, a town nestled in southwest Iceland. But is this even news? We must know that Iceland is a hotbed of geological activity, and it has 33 active volcano systems. This way, the country is among the most tectonically dynamic places globally, sitting right on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where two enormous plates, the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, meet. It has even been described as a part of the ocean floor that has emerged above the water. This unique positioning makes Iceland one of the hottest spots for volcanic activity in the world. So news about a volcanic eruption in Iceland may not sound shocking to people. However, there's something different about this one. In the 10th century, the Vatnaldur eruption at Bardarbunga marked the first recorded volcanic event in the region after humans settled in. Since then, there have been many more eruptions destabilizing the country's state. One was the Ajaf Yalajokul eruption of 2010, which might ring a bell for many due to its impact on European air travel. It grounded flights across the continent. Interestingly, this volcano had previously erupted in 920, 1613, and 1821 to 1823, showcasing a cyclic pattern of activity over the centuries. Interestingly, Iceland's volcanic rhythm has now shifted gears. Normally, eruptions occur roughly every five years, but since 2021, it's been erupting nearly once a year. Usually, these eruptions happen at Fagradalsfjall, an area about 35 kilometers from Reykjavik, the capital city. Fagradalsfjall even became a tourist attraction with its eruptions in 2021 and 2022, drawing visitors from all corners of the globe to witness the intriguing lava flows. But news of eruptions from another volcano has recently shocked everybody on their toes, as it might be the biggest eruption ever seen in Europe. It is a big problem as volcanic eruptions significantly impact the well-being of the Icelandic people, thanks to the toxic substances concealed in volcanic ash. These eruptions are known to release various gases, including heat-trapping carbon dioxide, CO2, and cooling gases like sulfur dioxide, SO2. The impact of significant volcanic events like the devastating Mount Tambora eruption in 1815 that led to famine remains a sorrowful reminder of their disruptive and deadly nature. Another historical example is the Lackey eruption of 1783, which unleashed clouds of poisonous fluorine and sulfur dioxide, resulting in the tragic demise of about 50% of Iceland's livestock population. Larger eruptions can also transport ash over vast distances, and a prime illustration is the 2010 Ijafjallajökull eruption, whose ash was carried across Europe. Amidst these challenges posed by volcanic ash, there's still a silver lining. Other volcanic activities have led to the discovery of minerals crucial to industrial production. Iceland's unique geological features, like the stunning Dimuborgir rock formations, attract tourists from around the world. This adds an economic and aesthetic dimension to the country's volcanic legacy. These aesthetic and economic benefits do not clear the air of anticipation hanging around Grindavik and the whole of Iceland. It's definitely not enough consolation for the 100-foot volcano crack about to erupt, as it threatens to displace people, ruin properties, and even worse, end lives. The signs are telling enough. 
What devastating things will happen if this volcano eventually erupts? We will now be exploring the reasons residents are already evacuating their homes in preparation for this terrifying possibility. The town of Grindavik has been shaken by an overwhelming surge in seismic activity, with more than a thousand earthquakes rocking the area since October 24, 2023. At one alarming point, a staggering 800 tremors were recorded within a mere 24 hours. This seismic unrest led Icelandic authorities to take swift action, leading to the closure of popular tourist spots and prompting the government to issue evacuation orders that compelled residents to hastily abandon their homes. The Reykjanes Peninsula also experienced over 1,000 earthquakes in a mere 24-hour period before the evacuation, a concerning surge in seismic activity that prompted immediate action. The footage captured revealed steam rising from a crack, a startling sight that raised concerns within the Civil Protection Agency. The government stated that it's evident that the country is facing unprecedented events, unlike anything Icelanders have experienced since the Vestmanaijar eruption. This reference harked back to the 1973 eruption that lasted for six months. It necessitated the evacuation of an island and destroyed several hundred homes. However, the government reinstated their resilience, rallying the nation with a message of unity and determination. The urgency attached to the Grindavik earthquake was caused by an underground river of magma stretching an incredible 15 kilometers in length. The presence of this active magma flow raised serious concerns, resulting in the mandatory evacuation of the town. Despite attempts to allow residents brief access to gather essential belongings, the area's high-risk status has made re-entry impossible, maintaining a delicate situation for the town's inhabitants. This unsettling development also led to street closures, effectively halting travel in the area for an indefinite period. To protect the area, construction began on protective barriers encircling a critical geothermal plant near Grindavik. This is an essential power source for the entire country. The objective was to shield this vital infrastructure from potential lava flows, ensuring the continuity of electricity supply. The measure taken caused a significant portion of Grindavik to experience a power outage soon after. Workers raced against time to restore electricity before any potential eruption, highlighting the proactive measures taken to safeguard the town's essential services amidst the looming volcanic threat. Acknowledging the urgency and distress of the situation, the police granted select residents of Grindavik special permission on November 16th. Accompanied by rescue vehicle escorts, these individuals were allowed a brief return to the town to retrieve their valuables, a gesture aimed at alleviating their immediate concerns. The community's response to the imminent crisis is both impressive and necessary. As tensions rise, Shelters and support systems are quickly established to assist those displaced by the unfolding events. A nonprofit organization, equipped with an app to locate missing pets, sprang into action. Their efforts resulted in the rescue of various animals, including 49 cats, 4 hamsters, 90 pigeons, sheep, frogs, parrots, 3 kittens, and a rabbit from the town. This compassionate endeavor amid the crisis showcased the community's commitment to the welfare of its residents, both human and animal alike. This shows how badly the earthquake situation displaced residents, and it gives an insight into how bad things will be if the imminent eruption happens. The fear and unrest has been contagious. After a flurry of recorded earthquakes, though, the seismic activity in Iceland seemed to wane. It dropped to about 200 tremors daily by November 20th. However, on November 23rd, approximately 250 quakes were recorded from midnight to 11.30 a.m. Despite this, they maintained that the overall earthquake activity seemed to be on a decreasing trend. While the recent slowdown in earthquake activity might seem like a positive turn, it's not easing the tension in the area. Scientists are examining this decrease with caution. Fewer earthquakes might seem like a sigh of relief, but volcanic experts are quick to highlight that less seismic activity doesn't necessarily mean a reduced threat. The concern stems from the fact that this lull could be signaling a different phase in the volcanic cycle. It could potentially indicate the gradual movement of magma closer to the surface. 
To understand the gravity of the situation, experts are delving into Iceland's volcanic history. Drawing parallels with past eruptions is crucial in decoding the current predicament. By comparing the current seismic unrest with historical volcanic events that have left their mark on Iceland, experts are highlighting the potential magnitude of the imminent eruption. The repercussions, be it societal, environmental, or economic, could be long-lasting. At the core of understanding this looming threat lies the formation of a magma tunnel beneath the affected region. This vertical channel of magma ascending from the depths below presents multifaceted risks. Observations show rapid expansion and inflation of this tunnel, raising fears of a potential eruption. The location and scale of this tunnel pose a grave threat, extending concerns far beyond its immediate vicinity. Nearby towns and essential infrastructure are under the shadow of this looming volcanic threat. Authorities are deeply worried about potential damage to crucial infrastructure, including buildings and utilities. Professor Van Krenendonk, a professor of geology, once shed more light on Iceland's unique geological setup, describing it as part of the ocean floor that has emerged above the water's surface. While volcanic activity usually occurs kilometers underground, these eruptions predominantly take place beneath the ocean's surface. The country's notable landmarks, like the iconic Blue Lagoon, owe their existence to the simmering magma lying just beneath the Earth's crust. Despite Iceland appearing quiet and stable on the surface, Professor Van Kranendonk emphasizes that beneath this tranquility, geological forces persistently churn. These forces, over time, result in volcanic eruptions. Presently, some of that magma is finding its way through cracks, inching closer to the surface, hinting at imminent activity. The seismic tremors experienced in Grindalvik may not resemble the destructive earthquakes witnessed in other parts of the world, such as Italy or the Americas, which occur at significant depths within the Earth's crust. In contrast, Iceland's tremors are situated just a few hundred meters below the surface. Some still don't understand how disastrous these volcanoes can be, though. Some serious ones have shaped our world. The Toba super eruption is an example. Though it didn't happen in Iceland, nothing comes close in size. Way back, around 74,000 years ago, this massive eruption happened in Indonesia. The Toba caldera blew its lid and threw out an incredible 2,800 cubic kilometers of lava, spreading ash all over the place. The aftermath was intense. The eruption was so gigantic that it triggered what we call a volcanic winter. The ash blocked sunlight, temperatures drop, and things get colder globally. That massive climate shift probably put a big squeeze on human evolution. Scientists think this eruption might have led to a bottleneck in our species' development. Mount Etna in Italy is another volcanic giant. It's Europe's largest active volcano and one of the busiest in the world. People living in Sicily have seen its eruptions for centuries. The latest major action was in 2021, and it was quite a show. Now, the Iceland eruption may just be worse than this, which is why Professor Van Kranendonk elaborates on the impact of the earthquake swarms, explaining that they have caused substantial tears and ruptures across roads, homes, and valleys, effectively causing the island to tear itself apart. These fissures pave the way for liquid magma to ascend, eventually leading to an anticipated volcanic eruption that could be quite spectacular. In his assessment, the cracks serve as pathways for the magma to reach the surface, setting the stage for a potentially significant eruption. Professor Van Kranendonk even discussed the visible impact of tectonic movements in Grindelvik, where fissures in the ground reach depths of up to a meter. These visible fissures are tangible indicators of the underlying tectonic activity. However, in many cases, signs of an imminent eruption are not as easily discernible. To monitor such situations, advanced techniques have been employed, especially in places like Yellowstone. The professor highlighted the geothermal activity at Yellowstone, driven by near-surface magma. To detect subtle ground movements, sensors are utilized to measure the tilt of the land. These movements might not be visible to the naked eye. For instance, one side of the land could rise by 10 centimeters, while the other side drops by 5 centimeters over a distance of 50 kilometers. Such minute shifts could prompt safety concerns for visitors if authorities detect them. 
Scientists listen for the faintest whispers of an impending eruption through seismic detectors that pick up on earthquakes and tremors, often the first signs of volcanic unrest. Alongside that, they track ground deformations, measuring even the slightest shifts that hint at magma rising beneath the surface. Changes in volcanic gas emissions, gravity, and magnetic fields add pieces to this complex puzzle. In some cases, this vigilance pays off remarkably. Take Pinatubo Volcano in the Philippines back in 1991, for instance. Thanks to a successful forecast based on these monitoring techniques, thousands of lives were saved. The success story at Pinatubo highlights the crucial role of interpreting consistent changes from the usual activity levels in making accurate short-term eruption forecasts. Comparing this situation to Grindelvik, where clear signs of a potential eruption are visible, Professor Van Cranendonk pointed out the uncertainty surrounding the specifics of an eruption. Its precise timing and magnitude remain unknown. Predicting the exact location and time of a volcanic eruption still presents a challenge. While there's an understanding of the linear fissures in the crust, which provide clues about potential eruption avenues, the fluid dynamics of magma interacting with the solid crust introduce unpredictability. As much as science strives for accuracy, volcanoes often throw curveballs. The patterns they follow can change suddenly, sometimes showcasing entirely new behaviors. This unpredictability makes reliable forecasts a challenging task. The best predictions are a blend of history, real-time monitoring, and an intimate understanding of how a specific volcano's internal processes work. Trying to guess when a volcano might erupt based on past occurrences isn't always reliable either. For one, few volcanoes have enough historical records to establish precise eruption intervals spanning hundreds or even thousands of years. Moreover, just when a volcano seems to have settled into a routine, it tends to switch things up, defying expectations. Icelander authorities are, however, still putting up measures to possibly prevent the greatly anticipated eruption. They are considering a proactive approach by contemplating the use of water to cool and redirect potential lava flows. But that might be a dangerous approach too. Intervening in these natural forces requires extensive engineering endeavors. While it's possible to divert lava flows to some extent and influence their direction based on the landscape's steepness, managing significant volcanic systems to minimize damage remains a great challenge. Also, an effort to prevent the eruption may lead to an even worse outcome, since we already know that Iceland is a land of volcanoes. Suppressed lava may move somewhere else, and it may cause a more dangerous eruption than the looming one. Its previous eruptions have left unforgettable marks on both its landscape and society, but this one may rewrite the history of not just Iceland, but the whole of Europe. The cataclysmic Laki eruption of 1783 serves as a haunting reminder. Lasting eight months, this eruption, originating from the Laki fissure system, unleashed immense lava volumes and toxic gases, particularly sulfur dioxide, into the atmosphere. Its aftermath, known as the Laki haze, triggered catastrophic global consequences, including altered weather patterns, widespread famine, crop failures, and devastating livestock loss. Shockingly, nearly a quarter of Iceland's population succumbed to famine or related diseases during this dire period. The Eldfell eruption in 1973 on Haimai Island further proves the island's vulnerability. This unexpected event forced the evacuation of the entire population, totaling approximately 5,300 individuals. While homes and infrastructure suffered extensive damage, no casualties were reported. Despite the upheaval, the resilient community managed to rebuild their lives after months of displacement. Understanding these historical eruptions highlights the potential devastation of the Grindavik eruption. Factors like the eruption's location and intensity will dictate its impact. Proximity to populated areas will result in significant infrastructure damage and community risks. Additionally, volcanic ash could disrupt air travel affecting airports and aviation operations. Lava flows pose risks to buildings, roads, and utilities, particularly if the eruption reaches populated areas, endangering homes and infrastructure. And again, during an eruption, the release of toxic gases can severely affect air quality, posing health hazards to nearby residents. This can result in respiratory issues, 
necessitating potential evacuations or protective measures. The environmental impact extends further, affecting ecosystems, agriculture, and water sources. Such consequences impact livelihoods and the economy. Truly, Iceland has robust emergency response systems from its volcanic history, but the potential destruction from the Grindavik eruption would span from localized damage to broader regional impacts, depending on its scale and trajectory. The available groundbreaking technology would empower experts to monitor and forecast the volcanic activity still. These advanced ground-based and satellite-driven measurements offer critical insights into magma movement and tunnel formation, aiding in risk assessment and timely evacuations. In the Grand Theater of Understanding Volcanic Behavior, VDAP, the Volcano Disaster Assistance Program, has also taken center stage with a troop of engineers and scientists armed with the technology. Their tools are as sophisticated as they are robust. Seismic stations placed strategically act as the ears to detect even the faintest whispers of underground rumblings. Global positioning system or GPS stations powered by solar energy also work tirelessly to track ground movements. They are used to find the telltale signs of an awakening volcano. These instruments don't just collect data, they beam it back in real time through low power radios, enabling quick analysis and response. New technologies are being used to keep an eye on volcanoes, alerting both Icelanders and people worldwide if an eruption might happen soon. Even though these tools haven't provided a lot of certainty about the Grindavik volcano, scientists are using the data they gather to make future predictions more accurate. While everyone waits for this anticipated eruption that has everyone on edge, the authorities in Iceland are focused on keeping the residents of Grindavik safe, and scientists are working on making their volcano monitoring technology better. Thanks for watching. Don't miss another of our videos. Click on the link showing on your screen to check this one out. See you there.